Hey, I'm Ryan with Spike, and I'm here today to tell you about the greatest hobby you never knew existed, brewing beer at home. In this video, we're gonna talk about the ingredients, some steps, the process, all to make your first day brewing beer a great experience. Beer is made up of four main ingredients, grain, hops, yeast, and water. The grains we use for making beer are malted specifically for the brewing process. They contribute this sugar, which is later turned into alcohol. Next are hops. They are a cone-shaped flower that grows on a vine. They are a key component of a beer's aroma, flavor, and balance. Depending on hop variety, they can add notes of citrus, tropical fruit, pine, spice, or floral, just to name a few. In addition to taste and smell, they help keep the beer fresh. Yeast is the microorganism that is responsible for fermentation in beer. It eats the sugar extracted from the grains, which produce the alcohol and carbon dioxide. It turns wort, that sweet malty liquid, into beer. But more on that later. The last key to great beer is using high quality water. Water chemistry plays a large part in the final taste profile of the beer. And there you have it, the four main ingredients of brewing a nice tasty beer. But it's not enough just to know about the ingredients, it's what you do with them that matters. Making delicious brewskadoos. Remember that grain we were talking about earlier? Before we do anything with it, we need to mill it. All that means is we're gonna crush it up a bit. This will help with the sugar extraction from the grain. Think of it the same way you grind up your coffee beans before brewing a cup. After the grains are milled, you will combine them with hot water. Once the grain and water are mixed, we'll have what is called the mash. Mashing is done at a specific temperature that is called out by your recipe and usually takes about an hour. This process will convert the starches in the malt into sugar. Don't worry, I know we've gone over a few steps, but we just got a few more to go. And the next step, it's pretty easy. Boiling. Boiling is an essential step in the brewing process. It's where we really kick up the heat. We boil the wort for about an hour to pasteurize the wort and boil away any off flavors. Boiling is also where hops and other flavor additions can be added. The options for flavor addition in beer are endless. You can add hops, sugars, candies. You know, honestly, we've seen it all. After we're done boiling the wort, we create a whirlpool in the kettle for a short period of time. This helps us separate the trube from the wort. The trube consists of hops, proteins, grain particles, etc. Things you don't want going to your final beer. Now on to the coolest part of the process, cooling. In this step, we'll move the wort through the heat exchanger, which chills the wort before we move it into the fermenter. Here at Spike, we have a variety of options that will match perfectly with your system size. Once we have the wort in the fermenter, now is the time to add the fourth and final ingredient, them yeasty boys. You add in or pitch the yeast into the fermenter and then close it up to let it do its thing. And now you gotta let that soon to be beer sit for a while. You gotta let the yeast do their job. Convert that sugar into alcohol. The last step in the general process of brewing is packaging that great beer in an easy way to drink. The two most popular ways are kegging that beer or to bottle and cap the beer. Either way is a great option to enjoy that fine beer you've just created. When you become a more advanced brewer, we'll teach you how to carbonate your beer in a spike fermenter. Well, there you have it, the basic process of making beer. Before you go, let's go over some common terminology that you might hear now that you're becoming a badass home brewer. Terms like all grain brewing. All grain brewing is a nice way of saying the traditional method of making beer. Pros, you got complete control over it and it's less expensive. Con, it's a little bit longer of a brew day. That just means you got more fun brewing some beer. And what's the difference between propane and electric and brewing, you ask? Brewing with propane just means you're using a propane burner to heat your kettle. Think boiling a pot of water on your stove. And electric brewing means you have a heating element inside the kettle used to control your kettle's temperature. All right, so now that we have those clear, let's move on and talk about one, and three vessel systems. Single vessel means you just use one kettle for the entire brew day. This results in minimal equipment, faster brew days, and a simpler process. And three vessel means you have three separate kettles, one for each step of the process. With this style, you get more efficiency and no constraints on batch size or recipe. I can already hear you. Ryan, what's the difference between all these fermenters? Well, you got you covered. There are three general styles of fermenters. Plastic buckets. Cheap, but truthfully not the best option. Glass carboys, not bad. 
more sanitary, but they're a little bit more dangerous to handle. Or one of these bad boys. Stainless steel, pressure capable, spike fermenter. Well, there you have it. We just went over the basics of home brewing. Now you're probably ready to head over to our website, get some spike gear, and get to brewing. But listen, we're here for you. Like a crispy lager on a hot summer day. Check out our website, our YouTube page for some great information. And our team's always here for you if you need it. Thanks for hanging out with me and maybe one day I'll see your recipe on a spike spotlight. Cheers.